In this example, I'm going to show you how you can select multiple reference lines at one time. You can use this also for multiple points on an outline for normal fill. But in this example, what we have is, let's say, this letter S. And it is kind of a wide letter S. And let's say we wanted it more compact. Um, to do this, I want to move this line, this line, this line, and this line to the left to make it more compact. I have guidelines set up on the screen to help me because I'm actually making a compact font. Instead of moving each line individually, I can select all of these at one time. It makes it a little easier. If you notice when you go into block edit, the default mode is for rectangle mode select. You also have sequential mode, but we're going to use the rectangle mode. To activate the multiple point select, we use the tab key on the keyboard. So I'm going to hold down the tab key. Now this is the top left on my keyboard. And you see that the icon changes. I'm going to drag down, much like a zoom box, and I'm going to select all of these points. When I release my mouse, you see that everything is selected. Now I can grab any one of these lines and drag it over. I can position them all at one time click stitch it and you'll see that that makes it a whole lot easier than moving each point one by one. 